Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my vlog videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. If you can see, I am wearing some Minnie Mouse ears. I have a Disney a mini dress on and we're going to actually be heading to downtown Disney and I am so excited. I didn't think I'd be going back to Disney anytime soon, but since I'm in California for the next little bit, I was like, you know what? Why not go have some Disney day? So downtown Disney is where I'm going to go. You can probably hear Alice whooping in the background. I'm so excited. So it's around, I don't even know, it's like 733. So it's pretty late. I haven't gone there at all. I've just been resting and taking it easy and editing my San Francisco vlog. So I'm going to go get some dinner. I want to also get some coffee so that I can make Disney coffee every morning. I think that just sounds ideal. So anyway. Make sure to grab your own delicious cup of coffee, tea, favorite beverage, and let's get started with today's video. Before heading out, I touched up my lipstick. I am loving this shade, and it's also ironically called Charmer, and you guys know how much I love Charm Bracelet, so I love the name of this. If you want to know more about the lipstick, check out my description bar in this video. Then it was off to head on over to Downtown Disney, and there's just something so magical about walking over here. As you approach, you start to smell different things, the sounds, the sights. Everyone's very excited with anticipation. It was so lovely to see the Disney 100 decorations. I didn't know I'd get a chance to go this year, and it was amazing to see it in real life. After admiring the Disney 100 signs, as well as peeking over at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, I headed into downtown Disney, where I was able to see the first medallion. If you have a magic band, it is extra fun. It lights up. So cool. What is also so fun is if you move your arm in a circular motion while wearing the magic band, it will set the medallion off and it'll play different sounds. It'll light up differently each time you do it. I don't know how many different features it has on it, but there's at least three and it was so cool to see. Then I headed inside World of Disney and I was so excited. I hadn't been into Disney since Christmas time, so it was so fun to see the different merchandise and items that were out. Here I was looking at all the different Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse ears. There were so many cute ones to admire and to see. I love these ones. I thought these were like super cute. Didn't end up getting them, but they were fun to look at. Love the sequin purple. I love like the sparkle. I always like to have a little touch of sparkle on my mini ears. Then I passed by the new emos and I have the Alice one if you saw my last Disneyland haul, but I didn't get the white rabbit. So I decided since I had quite a few to debate, you know, till I was done kind of browsing and shopping. And if I was still thinking about him, I was gonna go back and get him. Then I popped over to Alex and Ani, and I noticed they were having a sale on all the Disney parks, Alex and Ani. So it was buy one, get one 50% off, which was very tempting for me. But at this point, I just resisted. I kept looking. I did pick up the Jasmine bangle last time I was there, and they still had a couple left, but I love the Cinderella ones especially. And then there's a Disneyland themed one that I also really love. It's like a bangle style. They also had some Beauty and the Beast, Ariel from Little Mermaid. There's so many different ones to look at. I love like that one. Did you see a Cinderella? So cute. There is also some Alice and Wonderland lounge fly. So I don't own a lounge fly backpack. I have two fanny packs and I'm always admiring the lounge fly backpacks. I've yet to get one though. Also saw this adorable corduroy hat with the different Disney pets, Disney animals on it. Also saw the collectible medallions being available. I ended up getting a Jasmine one, which was also available in this store. I took a quick peek at the Marvel area. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so it was fun to see the different merchandise. And then I saw this adorable, it's a small world calendar that I love. I really want to get that. I think it's so cute. Then I went to the Disney 100 merchandise area. They have a full setup for this and there's so much to see. Everything, you know, from the mints, like all themed out. I always love getting mints. This is one of the items that I did end up getting on this shopping trip. They had chocolates. And of course, they had all the Disney style, Disney 100 merchandise, hoodies, sweatshirts, ears. They have the spirit jersey that I ended up getting at Christmas time. They also had this adorable Mickey hat that I always debate about. Lounge fly, Disney 100 mini ears. They were super cute. These also come with a matching bag which is so adorable to see, absolutely love it. They also had a bunch of stuffed animals and toys that were really cute. I love these little Mickeys, they looked so happy. And Pluto with his Disney 100 collar, 
these sweatpants that looked super comfy. They also had the Disney Pet Spirit jersey and collar. I got those for Alice back at Christmas time. Some Alice in Wonderland themed things and some more Disney Pets merchandise, including this really cute Mickey Mouse kind of Kong inspired toy where you put treats inside and the dog has to try to go and get it out, kind of lick it out. Super cute. Alice is not into those types of toys. Or I totally would have been tempted to get her one. And then I went over to go see some of the limited edition merch. So every month they always have some more limited edition pieces that are coming out. Loved the Tinkerbell and the Steamboat Willie merchandise, like the little lounge fly bags. It was so adorable and cute to see. Also had an Encanto bag. And oh my goodness, these guys were so cute. They were being sold as a set. They were so adorable. Also passed by the rose gold lounge fly bag that I always debate about. I love the sparkle. It's so pretty. Popped over to look at some of the Disney home merchandise as well as peeking over looking at some of the Disney pet items. And of course, one of my favorite things for homeware, the mugs. I am, I have too many mugs. I have so many mugs. A lot of them are Disney and I always love to go back and take a look. I love the Jasmine mug. I hadn't seen that style before. They also had a Belle one and an Ariel one, which were beautiful. An Alice in Wonderland color changing one, which I was very tempted by, as well as the White Rabbit, Mary Poppins, another Alice in Wonderland mug, which was so beautiful. I'd seen that one before. These Pinocchio mugs were so cute. Of course, Chip. I have a Chip mug in my collection. He's cute. I also took a look at the Disney Starbucks mugs. They had the Minnie Mouse Disneyland mug that I purchased last time. It is so cheerful. Some Wally merch. And by the way, if there's anything you guys are interested in that I'm showing, if I can find it on the Shop Disney website, I will link it down below. Sometimes with like park exclusive merchandise, they don't always have it on the website, but I'll leave them down below if I can find it. Also, can you spot Abu on the screen right now? I fell absolutely in love with him. I decided to think about him, not get him that night, and I end up regretting that decision, you guys. So stay tuned for future vlogs to find out why. And as you can see, I went back and I picked up the Disney new emo of the White Rabbit. He was just too cute. I kept thinking about him and I thought he was a perfect souvenir to go along with the Disney 100 mints. On the way out, I spotted the Sword and the Stone t-shirt, which I absolutely loved. I thought it was super cute. And then I headed outside, I saw another medallion, and I didn't film it properly here, but what's so cool with the magic band, it will light up, but the medallion itself will start to twinkle, it'll make a sound. It is so amazing to see, you just kind of have to like move your arm in that circular motion. It's so fun. Then I also just filmed a quick outfit of the day. Thank you to the person who saw me taking a selfie and offered to like help me film this. It was super sweet. Passed by the downtown Disney Pandora store, and then I headed into my other favorite shop, the dress shop, the Disney dress shop. There's always so much cute stuff, including the Disney Parks Pandora charms. They have a whole little booth area, a little shop and shop. They will have some of the Disney Park exclusive Pandora charms, as well as some charms from the regular Disney by Pandora collection that you can find at various Pandora websites and on the store. They won't have all the exclusive Disney Park charms here. You'll have to go into the park to find all of them, but they do have quite a lot here. They also sell some of the charm holders, the bracelets and necklaces as well. And it was just fun to see everything. I also spotted that they had the Disney 100 charms here too, which was really fun. Moving along from Pandora, I browsed the entire store because I love it here. They had actually a lot of merchandise that they had at World of Disney. They also had these beautiful Disney 100 mini ears that I had debated to get at Christmas. They also had some Dooney and Burke bags. Really cute. This one was adorable. It was all the different Disney bunnies on it. So they had like the white rabbit, the March Hare from Alice in Wonderland. They even had the little Alice in Wonderland flowers on here. I fell in love with this bag. I just thought it was so cute. Did not get it. I resisted. Very cute. Then I looked at some of the Disney dresses they had. They had this Disneyland dress, which is really fun. I don't know if it's my style, but it is super cute. And I love the Peter Pan collar with the ruffle. What a cute little detail. They had a Matterhorn dress, which was super pretty, as well as the gorgeous carousel dress that I fell in love with at Christmas time. It is such, oh, it's such a romantic dress. It is so pretty. They had a whole section devoted to The Little Mermaid since the new movie had just released. There's a lot of cute things to see. They also had a whole Fantasyland section with some different items. They also had Alex and Ani here too and it was also on sale here. They had a cute Bambi card holder that I put back. I could not get it. It was so cute though. 
There's so many temptations whenever I go into these stores. They also had this beautiful paw print necklace with a hidden Mickey in the inside. I thought that was so pretty. They also had like, I think matching earrings and a ring like to go with it as a set. After all that shopping, I was so hungry. I hadn't had dinner yet and it was probably like 8.39 at this point. So I popped over to the recently renovated Jazz Kitchen and I ordered some delicious dinner and a green tea. And my waiter was so lovely, they gave me another green tea for free to go because they saw how cold I was. It got in quite chilly. That was so lovely of her. This big, a lovely jumbo. Tea. And a virtual cheers over to you guys watching. Passed by another medallion. And then I went into the Disney home store. I love going here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at all the Oswalds. <laughs> the Lucky Rabbit merch was so cute. There was a lot of cute little Oswald goodies here. They also had some more Disney 100 merchandise, including soap, the Disney Pets merchandise, even a beach towel, which I thought was fun. They have a lot of different mugs and glasses here too. But my favorite thing about here is they have a whole section devoted to Disney pets. They have stuff for cats and dogs. And there's just so many different cute things. They have like toys, outfits, collars, leashes, bowls, pet beds. There was this really cute Minnie Mouse harness. I saw it was kind of close to like the Dooney and Burke bag. You can see it. Oh, adorable. There was even a charm detail on the collar of the Alice in Wonderland flowers. I thought this was adorable. Then I found something I had to get my dog, Alice. They have Alice and Wonderland toys. They have like the butterfly. I fell in love and I knew I would have to get this for my dog, Alice. After all, she is named after Alice in Wonderland, the character. So this was super cute. I love that it even had like the teapot. They also had some Pocahontas cat toys, which I thought was really cute. A Frisbee. Of course, we had some Star Wars. And then I took a browse at some of the other like little knickknacks and things as well as the Christmas ornaments. I kind of regret not getting a Disneyland specific Christmas ornament during my last trip. But when I was looking, I just couldn't find any that really represented Disneyland. So I might have to wait for another time. Then I again looked at some of the water bottles, some of the mugs again that I had seen at World of Disney. They were so cute. And then I headed out and my last stop was at the candy store to see if there's anything I might pick up for a late night snack. Yes, for 14. Yes, 14. They didn't have anything that I could have, unfortunately, with a dairy and gluten allergy. It's always kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes it's challenging to find, but I did want to go and if you guys remember at the beginning of this vlog, I wanted to get some coffee to make every morning while I was in Disneyland and I wanted it to be some magical coffee. So I got some French vanilla coffee from here, which was so good. And I also picked up another Alice in Wonderland themed tea. They have the Wonderland tea here and there are so many delicious flavors. I still have some left from my last trip. And oh my gosh, look at the cute little teapot, the tea set for one. How adorable is that? color changing mugs. Oh, love it. Then I headed back to my hotel to see my sweet little Alice and surprise her with a little white rabbit. I thought she would be excited to see him. She loves that little Alice new emo too. She doesn't play with them. She just likes to hang out with them. She is so sweet. Alice, look. Look who it be. It is a white rabbit. It's your white rabbit. What do you think of him? Hi, Alice. <laughs> he used to go with the other Alice doll. What do you think? Oh, sweetness. I should have filmed it. She was so happy to see me and we went for a really fun walk. And I actually ended up falling, which was not so fun. But it was worth it because it made this little one safe because I got really scared. I had to like, I was like, I always wrap up the leash and I tripped and oh my gosh, I'm so glad it was wrapped around my wrist because she could have kept going. <laughs> but you were fine. She has her Disneyland me show you guys Disneyland spirit jersey on looking so pretty and looking so pretty are you looking so pretty oh, I love you too did you know I missed you yeah I had so much fun but the best part is seeing you sweetness seeing you my good girl is a good girl and she had so much fun she was playing with her 
Mr. Sloth, and I hide treats in him. And she was like looking for him, like where he, where did he go with all those treats? So she did that, and I was, and she looked like she had fun with him finding all the treats. But she for, didn't seem to find a left a bunch on his head, and she couldn't find them all until I got back. You was playing with Mr. Sloth. You was playing with him, wasn't you? Who was sniffing out? this what you be doing miss alizy and that is it for today's downtown disney shopping vlog i hope you enjoyed coming along with me i'm wishing you all a magical wonderful rest of your day take care and i'll see you in my next video goodbye for now